republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Guns. Self-defense. Conceal carry. This is the Patriot Defense Podcast. From the war room in Idaho's high desert, here's your host, Todd Eccles. And we are back once again. We are tucked away in the war room somewhere in the high desert of southern Idaho. And it's a beautiful day, mind you. See, it's uh, Sunday, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And it's, what is it? It's like 60 degrees out there? It's got to be 60. Yeah, over 50. For oh sure. It's like almost t-shirt weather. Yeah. Well, I have this problem where I put on the sweatshirt when it gets cold. And then even come early spring, I have a hard time taking the sweatshirt off. Does that make sense? It's like I'm the I'm like over there sweating buckets before I'll take it off. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to convince myself. And where we have the weather, it keeps going back and forth. I'm just I'm I'm just confused all yeah. the time. <laughs> this makes me happy. I'm very confused. So joining me today is we have Shauna and we have her daughter McKenna. Right? Did I say that right? McKenna. McKenna. Okay. Just make sure. Okay. Um, and so Shauna, you were a part, and I've talked about this on every episode. Um, you were part of my women's shooting academy. Yeah. Uh, this year, and we—it's the academy that we start in February, and it goes all the way through November. And actually, are we done with yours? Yours, yours, yours is over now. Yeah. I have—I have, a, I have two groups. I have one more that have to come in on the second, I believe. Yeah, we so, just finished up. We just finished up. Get a little closer. You gotta get. We gotta get closer. You gotta. Okay. I'm a. I'm. I'm poor, and so I. The the quality of microphones now? are lacking. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. So. Um, so had you been much of a shooter before you started this or what made you decide to do this or sign up? It has been a, a long time since I've handled a gun. I did, I did some shooting as a kid with my dad. Um, he was a big game hunter and we would do some shooting, but I had, it's, so it's been a lot of years. Um, I'm a single mom and I, it's just something I wanted to do. Um, I am interested in it, but I wanted it for safety reasons. Sure. And I had never taken any kind of training or classes or anything like that. So I really had no knowledge base as far as safety and um, first aid. And that is one thing that I really appreciated about this course was you really covered a lot of territory. We did. A lot of nuggets um, that we could take. Again, a lot of safety, of course, um, like hyper vigilant on safety, which I don't even think you can overemphasize that no, enough. No, you cannot. Um, did a lot of the drawing and shooting, you know, practicing with just mm -hmm. your hand and dry firing i might not even be saying that yeah. right we got no, no, we call that we call it finger guns finger guns just like when you're a little kid yeah right finger guns pew, pew, pew. people always look at me funny when we do that what are we doing i'm like trust me yeah you want to you want to approach this this drawing from the holster thing slowly yeah for sure <laughs> so i really appreciate all that again i don't even know if i've had actually used a handgun in my past so i really appreciate all that the um first aid training that we did you know if you're out yeah out there and you think you know how to handle a situation, but when you're under fire like that or in the moment, you just don't know what you are going to do. And that is something that I appreciated with um, the simulator, the mm -hmm. week, which was super fun. Oh, yeah. But those real life situations where, again, if you actually see a human and you're faced with a situation, you you stress this a lot in the class, but you don't know if you're going to be able to do it. Right. And you have to consciously make that decision in your mind. And I didn't know if I could. So the first time we were on the simulator with the human on the other side, yeah. with a weapon in his hand, I I wasn't sure if I was making the right choice in the situation, but I wanted to see if I could actually shoot mm -hmm. faced with another human on the other side. And I did it. <laughs> but um, it's a confidence thing. You have to, you oh, do yeah. have to make those choices, which you may or may not think about. Um, again, I'm a single mom. If somebody came into my home and threatened my daughter, I have to know that I'm going to be able to, you know, handle that situation right and so the simulator is an interesting thing and you know it's something that you know i got probably this time last year right and mm. and we've used it we've used it a, a few times i haven't used it a ton yet and i'm just trying to figure out how it how it works into a class if that makes any sense right um but yeah it's a big deal when you, you know you can learn a lot on it but then when you put into those those like those those um the the scenario type part of the program and mm -hmm. you know when they give you like a video they're like law enforcement videos right and yeah. it's a shoot or don't shoot thing and you actually get to shoot at the shoot at the screen and 
yeah. and you got to explain why you did what you did. That's a big eye opener for a lot of people. Yeah. And you saw that in that class. Yeah, Some absolutely. people, I mean, I think, I don't know if it's your group or the other group. There was one gal that was just like, she was just mortified. She's like, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's, even though it's just like you're watching TV, it's so real. And I never pushed the, I said it's important, it's real, but I mean, I never had you guys like yell at the screen or do anything mm -hmm. like that, but it's. Yeah, when it, you're in that moment. It gets and, your adrenaline up. Yeah, and the longer yeah. it goes on, a, a few of them were quite long. Yes. And, you know, you're looking around every corner and up the stairwell and down the stairwell, and, you know, it's, yeah. um, then it's the pretty dog, nerve wracking. Then the dog yeah. shows up, and you're like, oh, I can't shoot the dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it puts you right there in the moment. So I, I thought it was a lot of fun. So I super enjoyed the class. I feel like I've learned a lot and definitely a lot more comfortable. Um, and now my daughter's here today trying out. She never actually touched a gun, so she can share her experience. But um, she's warming up to it, and yeah. I think she's enjoyed it a lot. Well, we'll get to McKenna here in just a minute. We got to oh. find. We got to find out. So you went out. Was it, it was coming up close to the class? It was coming up real close to the class, and you still hadn't got a gun yet. No. <laughs> and then you just all of a sudden showed up one day, and you had a CZ. Yeah, yeah. You had a CZ sure. nine mil, and I can't remember if it's the. I don't know which one it is, but what made you choose that gun? I'd actually never heard of CZ. I went to the um, shooting range in Boise. Is it high impact? One of I'm, them. Yeah, yeah there's I'm a couple. There's a the couple name. of them. Yeah. I went up there with a girlfriend of mine who I had shot just in her at, on her farm once, and uh -huh. she had a Ruger and um, I forget what else. But we went there and tried out three guns, and I really liked one of them. And when we came out, time to buy or shop or whatever, I thought I was looking at the gun that I had shot back in the on the range. <laughs> But it wasn't. Okay. And but I I handled it and um, I just really liked the way it felt in my in my hand. And so again, when I asked because it was a, we shot a Glock and a Ruger and I forget the third one. That's what I thought I was buying. And I never even heard of CZ. And I really I actually thought I was buying some really cheesy thing. I had no idea what oh. it was. But I just liked the way it felt. And the guy said, "Yeah, this is a, a nice gun." And oh, very nice. I went back and forth, back and forth on the ones other ones I had shot in yeah. there. And I just really liked the CZ. So I bought it. <laughs> And, you know, I don't know. That's probably what women do. The most pretty gun, that's probably what they buy. I don't know. And that, that was a good, I, I've since you bought this gun, I had I had a gentleman come down here and actually teach some classes. And he's sponsored by CZ. He's a mm. professional shooter and he's sponsored by CZ. And he was telling me he went into the factory. And this will let you know how good the gun is. Every piece of that gun, he says when he took the tour of the factory and stuff, is actually hand measured. Oh, wow. To make sure it's precise before it goes into that firearm. Awesome. Everything is yeah. just hand like checked hand -made, yeah. and hand fitted and just wonderful gun. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. It's still my one and only. I will get another one. You I want feel like more. I'll have a collection. Yeah, you want more. Um, soon. Yep, I do. But I am very happy with my first purchase, not knowing anything nice. and not knowing anything about CZ. Um, I couldn't be happier. Actually. So well, you got your eye on anything else or just more guns? I haven't been shopping yet again. Purple no. Guns. Oh, Pur purple. Purple guns. Maybe something purple. Yeah, I don't know. Something could, shiny. Do you know this? You can buy whatever gun you want, and you can make it purple. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can have them dipped. You can have them coated. You can have them all kinds of stuff. Oh, you can awesome. turn them yeah. whatever color you want. Sweet. As long as you're willing to spend the money. Yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. So I always tell people, don't chase the color of the gun. Chase the gun that you want, the one that fits you, and then you can have it customized. Gotcha. Because you can buy a purple gun or a Tiffany blue gun or whatever, and it may not be the best quality gun. Right. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. buy the gun, then just change it to customize yeah. it however you want. I've seen them with with jewels as oh. where the dots are on the sides. I've mm -hmm. seen all kinds of stuff. I bet you have. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really happy um, with my CZ. Super happy. Very nice. Very nice. And yeah. you're just going to keep practicing and keep shooting? Yes. Shooting more. Shooting more. It's all about shooting more. Yeah. I really love it. Is there one thing as far as like the fundamentals or when we were, I was teaching everyone how to shoot is that like sticks out to you as in your head. And I, I know what I say, but that in your head that, that maybe um, is like, you feel is like the most important thing when it comes to actually shooting the gun. What do you, what, what do you feel? <clears throat> what I'm finding now is I did miss a lot of classes here at the end because of my daughter's soccer season and getting back into it, not having doing it as regular. We is, forgive her. Yes. <laughs> it, she has her state sweatshirt on. That's right. Um, is uh, I don't have the touch on the trigger properly. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing it too quickly. Yeah. And so I'm shaking, I'm moving the gun and um, I'm not taking my time. That's a and muscle that, memory I, thing. Yeah, yeah. I can see that that is super critical. It is super critical. And as I've been off, you know, missed many classes, um, I'm finally coming back now that that, 
I have forgotten. Well, and that's one that. of the reasons why we run, I run the classes from February to November because I know that it's, people have lives, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and people's lives are going to get really busy or they can get busy. And so that's why we do. We have so many classes, you know, two a month. Um, and that's like 20 classes. And so that's actually quite a few. Yeah. So if you miss some, you know, and you're able to jump back in and kind of work around them and I'm a pretty flexible guy. Yeah. Yeah. You've been great. And so I just see now how that important that was when I was coming regularly and I felt like, Ooh, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> and then when I was off a bit, that I think is what I have lost and I might not have actually a firm enough grip to sometimes, mm -hmm. um, on the gun. So I, cause I'm swaying down and left a little. That's a trigger press. Yeah. That's in the trigger okay. press. So it's okay. So, yeah. You, yeah. You, so, so you've, it's super important. You've learned a lot. Yeah. You still got plenty more to learn. We all do. Even, even I have plenty to learn. Um, how did you feel about the whole, um, just the whole, uh, I don't know what I'm, what word am I looking for? Just being with a bunch, uh, you know, in just a solely just a women's group. Was that was that nice? Was that a little less intimidating? Was that? It was for me. Okay, Again, I just wanted to know. Not being, um, and a lot of women in this class seem to they have shot in the past. Some of them have, and that they're yeah. sharpening up their skills and or refreshing. Or just a place to shoot. Yeah, but I did like it being all women and kind of sharing our stories, and we all were here for different reasons. But a lot of them are home alone a lot, even yeah. if they have a spouse, they, you know, they work at night or they're whatever. And, um, so yeah, I liked it a lot. What did you think about the, uh, uh, the open hand combat nights? We had like, it was there like, was there, did we go two nights with that? Two, we had two I nights I think we that. did go twice. Were you here when they got to mm -hmm. kick the crap out of me? Yeah. Yeah. I was part of that. Yeah. Um, I also thought that was awesome. That was, is, that, was is that? part of those things yeah. that. Again, in the heat it of the moment. It all goes together like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. That's right. That's right. There are certain things that you need to have down. And um, I've forgotten the guy's name. I apologize. Who came? James. James. Yeah. So he's a big guy. Yeah. Huge wrists. Yeah. And when he said, grab my wrist and try to get out, I think I might've been first. I, I just did not think I could do it. Yeah. And I was actually kind of embarrassed, but I got up there and I did what he said and I got right out of his embrace. Super knowledgeable and he knows his stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and so that was um, a confidence builder because, again, a huge guy, way larger than us women yeah. in the class, and everybody was able to get away if and we a, did what he taught us to do. There was a lot of, we had some older women in some mm -hmm. of these classes, yeah. too. I don't know, your group, I, I, see, I get the groups confused <laughs> in my brain, Yeah, but um, sure. they've got some that are like, there's no way, there's no way, and they were able to get out. Yeah. So, yeah. so I thought it was super valuable because okay. you just don't know what situation you're going to be in, and you might Perfect. not need to use you know, your gun or whatever. But that kind of situation, I think, is very um, likely, you oh, know, to see good. yourself in. Yep. I went home and I showed it to my kids. I mean, I was kind of amazed at how well Did it you worked. let them kick you? No. <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> I actually come out and I, yeah. like, catch her, like, yeah. like, pads, and they were just kicking and stomping my foot. Yeah. I had this yeah. huge bump on my on my shin for two weeks yeah you showed us it's crazy but it was great again great training because you want to do what you're gonna like they say in sports you practice you play the way you practice well, so so in this type of business it's you fight like you train yeah if you don't train it you're not gonna fight it that's right so yeah, i can totally see that yeah well cool so, i'm yeah, glad i thought it was super super helpful i'm trying to get ideas and, and make sure that uh you know kind of gonna one of the classes i'm doing uh for this next year i just want to make sure I model it the same way and adjust it where needed. But so far, I've had pretty good feedback on almost everything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, we're going to put you on the spot. Oh, that's fun. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get a little closer to the mic. There you go. Okay. So you came, you, you'd never shot a gun before. Never touched a gun before. But your mom says you're just like this badass at throwing axes. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and shooting a bow? It was a long time ago, but yeah. Okay. Well, th those help. And so you, but you'd never shot a handgun. So today, what'd you think? It was really fun. It was really new to me, but it was a lot of fun. We started off with the um, Taurus TX-22, a little 22 uh, semi-auto handgun. Perfect for beginning. That was a fun gun to shoot. Yeah. That one, <laughs> that one was fun. And then you jumped on your mom's uh, CZ and you shot it for a little while. What did you, because normally when someone's brand new, I start them off with the 22 and then I like to take them up like a step at a time, but you kind of got 
like a crash course today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so there's a lot more for you to learn if you were ever interested. Mm -hmm. But you did the 22 and you jumped to the 9. So we like skipped the 380, which is kind of a nice in between. What did you think of the 9 recoil versus the D22? It was a lot harder to adjust to. Yeah. Especially the trigger. Now you agree. Yeah. Well, that, that trigger is good on your gun, but it's, it is a lot, it's a lot different mm -hmm. uh, than that 22. So now you were, we were looking at your hands after you got done shooting. And, and one of the things I said was make sure you grip it nicely. Grip, you know, grip, have a good tight grip on this gun. And you did, you, you gripped it so hard. You had the imprint of <laughs> this. Too hard. No, you didn't though. That's the way, that's the way it should be. Shooting in a sense should almost kind of make you tired. Does that make sense? Mm. It means you should actually work muscles that you don't normally work. And that's why you go out and you shoot more and you get better. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you have a good tight grip and you tighten your arms up just right and you stiffen your wrists, we haven't got to that part yet. It's, it's all about doing that and being able to accept the recoil and manage the recoil and not fight mm -hmm. against it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you have to control it. So, um, you did great. And then you shot the, you spent some time shooting on the dueling tree. Mm -hmm. What do you think about shoot, shooting steel over paper? Fun, funner, yeah, more it fun. It, it's it's a reaction. It's the hearing it. It's it's the seeing it. It's mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Everyone loves the steel. I didn't think I'd hit one. <laughs> you, you did though. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did she hit a few. Yeah, and the competing was nice. And then you guys had to come up against me. Yeah, that was fun too. Yep, we didn't make we didn't make the final round. That's, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it's it's all fun. It's it's all fun in games. Yeah, um. So you think you ever go out and shoot again? You think you can go buy yourself? A, I'm putting you on the spot here. Oh you think, I mean, you have any interest in learning more? You have any interest in going out and buying any other guns? Or, or like, this isn't that bad? Or Yeah, it was fun. Maybe not buying a gun yet, but okay. learning more. Were you, what did you think coming into it before? Because you hadn't shot one before. Was the opportunity just like never there? Or were you a little apprehensive? Or guns are bad? Or what was your mindset going into it? It was never really there because like my mom said she like we never really had guns gotcha. okay. around us and then i'm really busy with soccer so when she said come to my class i had practice or something gotcha gotcha yeah. well it happens mm -hmm. happens no more soccer time for shooting class oh. <laughs> probably not <laughs> you like the soccer oh yeah oh yeah Love oh, it. that's good Okay, well, uh, anything else that you want to add at all? Like, um, I would just say anybody who's thinking about taking one of these classes from Todd, this Women's Academy, it's the first time you've done it, you say? It's this Well, it, so the first official academy was yeah. this year, yeah. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. Um, again, lots and lots of nuggets um, of things that you might not even – you know, consider or think about that would come into play. Like you said, the, that combat situation, mm -hmm. a lot of first aid things, um, and lots of scenarios where you could um, be in a situation with a gun in your hand, the target practice, the metal shooting, the simulator. I just thought it was yeah. all very, very helpful. And I, I have a lot to learn, of course, and I would definitely take another class. But I, for anybody who's thinking about it and knows nothing, I, I really did know nothing. You know, it's been a lot of years since I... You're the perfect student. Yeah. <laughs> Model student. No bad habits. Yeah. That's what we say. Yeah. No, it's not that you don't know. It's no bad habits. Yeah. It's perfect. I really didn't even know how to grip the gun. In fact, last summer when I went out with my girlfriend just messing around, I had my thumb in the wrong place uh. and got the recoil and I had no feeling in my thumb for probably six months. Oh yeah. Cause you got the, you caught the uh, slide, didn't yep. you? Did yeah. you bleed? Oh yeah. 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 I probably should have had stitches, that. but... Anyway, so yeah, I just, I really did know nothing. And so I feel like I've really learned a lot, um, a very good foundation for going forward. And I really appreciate it. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad you came today, McKenna. It was fun, beautiful weather for it. So I'll go ahead and uh, this is kind of a, just a shorter podcast being a holiday weekend. I've been, we've been busy on the range. I've been busy ripping out the floor in my <laughs> house. I don't, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but a a hun honeydew list a mile long. I bet. But for all those uh, who are listening to this, if you guys want to help support the podcast, you sure can. You can share it with your family and your friends. Um, and you can find the podcast actually on Spotify, on Stitcher, on on iTunes. On Actually, you can find the audio version on YouTube as well. You can share that as well. I would appreciate that. If you do want to support the podcast even more, you can sign up as a patron. I'll have the Patreon link down below in the show notes. And if you get signed up to now from 
from now till the end of the year. Uh, if you sign up, I will get your name in a drawing for a Patriot um, a Patriot membership down at Front Sight uh, Shooting Academy. And that's be a lifetime membership, so that's pretty cool. It's worth $5,000. I think it's $5 to sign up at Patreon. You get a couple videos, which I was just looking at my calendar. I have about three days to put up some two videos. Man, I procrastinate. Those should have been up like three weeks ago. Time but to do it. I'll get them slammed out here in the next couple of days, I promise. <laughs> So thank you uh, all who support Patreon. If you got any questions or comments, you can call me. You can text me area code 620-794-6223. That's area code 620-794-6223. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. I appreciate it. It was a fun Sunday afternoon. I will see everyone next week. Bye.